a collection of old bus timetables. <laughs> that really is a good conversation. Pull up. You could go up to a young lady in a bar and say, did you know that buses to Bordeaux used to be every, every ten minutes? <laughs> but since they changed the time this summer, they're now going, unbelievably, at 20 past, 25 past, and a 20 minute gap. And the environment department are paying subsidies for that? Oh, right. Another hobby is pictures of film stars. Now, you know, that might, but not everybody's into Laurel and Hardy, Charlie Chaplin, Harry Langdon, or even Buster Keaton. Never mind. Buster Blood Pressure. Actually, it's interesting doing the stand up comedy because I hear Lembit Opic, after his misfortune in the election, decided to uh, become a stand-up comic. Uh, I mean, it, it's funny that, because people never laugh at politicians. <laughs> but the weird thing about that is, is I thought if I followed them a bit, I might get a chance for the cheeky girl. The cheeky girl. <laughs> All the other girls come to that. But, you know, to be honest, I get enough comedy in the States, as Steve said. But then again, I thought I might... If, however bad the audience was tonight, I'd get a better audience than I did in the States of Guernsey. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I thought I'd give that, that, that a while. One of the issues that's been in the uh, Guernsey Evening Press, or Globe, or whatever, uh, this, this last week, didn't work for me either, the Guernsey Press joke, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> has been toilets. There's been a proposal by our Treasury Department, just like David Cameron's government on a smaller scale, to cut services. And what's the first thing they do? They want to cut those who want to spend a penny when they're walking along the beach walks. Now, what we could do is have a toilet tax. We could actually pay to go in toilets. And there was some clown who rang up the phone in the other day saying what we want are CCTV cameras in toilets. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, my goodness me, they'd see a few things. <laughs> but I was in the customs shed the other day and I wondered if they had a camera secretly below the light bulb, a light bulb because there seemed to be one light socket too many, but maybe that's just me, me, me being paranoid. <laughs> but I was thinking that a lot of people would resent having to pay to go to the loo, but we could actually in the interest of expanding the state's workforce, because we want more civil servants, don't we? I mean, we employ a vending machine operator for our séjour, <laughs> and now we're going to employ an extra financial controller for the Department of Health. So we could actually have a chief officer of toilets. And <clears throat> that chief officer could actually franchise out the CCTV service. So there could be some really weird people out there that actually pay to install them and watch them. <laughs> but 